Well, we're about to turn the page on August and look forward to September. Of course, with early September, it's the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, and we're seeing some things starting to brew out there. We're still waiting for a system to take on the name Danielle, and as of Wednesday morning, still we don't have a named tropical system. If we make it through August, finish out today without Danielle forming, It'll be the first time since 1997 that we've gone all of August without any name system during the month in the Atlantic. So really interesting to see if we're going to get this development. It doesn't look like we will. There is a chance for this to become a tropical system here, maybe a depression later today or tomorrow, but it's been an interesting run. And I'm going to talk about some of the things that have been prohibiting the development of that area. We have another area off to the north here also showing good signs of development and a wave off the African coast. Here are the chances for development from the National Hurricane Center. First of all, this wave off the African coast, 40% chance for development in the next 48 hours, 50% over the next three to five days. So there is a pretty good chance that's going to develop. This would most likely kind of form out in this area and should eventually get swept up to the north. Obviously, with this one so far north and already off to the east, this is not a threat to the U.S. It would carry off to the east-northeast. But this area obviously bears closer watching. A 60% chance for development within the next 48 hours and then an 80% chance. That's the thinking over the next three to five days. We'll take a closer look at this and you can see all of the convection we had with this yesterday. There's a lot going on, but there's also been some dry air that's been kind of mixing in a little bit, prohibiting real quick organization here. We are seeing more convection now just recently, so we'll see if this comes together and gets better organized throughout the day today. But there has been some dry air kind of working into it and creating some trouble for this area. Now, this is an area that's being investigated by the National Hurricane Center. It's INVEST. It's 91L is the name of the INVEST. And the movement has been from the uh, from the area off to the west northwest at about six miles per hour so it's not moving very quickly here it is forecast to continue off in this general direction and then some of the models carry it with more of a northerly turn others keep it a little farther south. I want to show you the general outlooks with the global models. And again, I just had, you know, basically there's two different types of thinking with this. Most of the globals, the GFS, that's the US model, the global forecast system, the GEM, that's the Canadian model, and the ICON all take this thing and then run it back to the north and eventually the northeast. Again, putting it closer to Bermuda, but some of the models not even making it to Bermuda. The Euro has it a little less organized. It brings it together a little more slowly, but then eventually turns it to the north and then kind of brings whatever forms back out that way. But there may be some more shearing involved uh, with the Euro's depiction. So there's still some question as to what happens out there. Again, the models, none of them bring it up to the coast. So that's good news for the Southeast US. Uh, of course, the surf could be kicked up a little bit. That's something that we're watching. But for now, it looks like this thing will make a run to the northwest and then eventually turn to the north and back to the northeast. Until it starts to slow down and make a turn, of course, we'll keep a very, very close eye to it. And things could change. I mean, we're talking several days out. But with a cold front coming off the coast this morning, that's going to be a buffer. And there should be another reinforcing shot of cold air into early next week or the cooler conditions. So those should act to kind of pick this up and turn it off to the northeast. We'll keep an eye to this and to all of the activity around the tropics and keep you updated from 13 News Now.